I defended so this isn't this wasn't brought to my attention. What the fuck? <laughs> Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. You son of a. <laughs> I could have said better member. He's up for elevation uh, evaluation soon. There we go. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. That son of a prick! <laughs> God damn it! Yeah. Let's God hear fucking it. damn it! <laughs> Great, now I'm doing my Cartman voice! Fuck! <laughs> Shut up, Jal and Cal, you. Jal! <laughs> Let's finish this up. Oh, well, hello. We're about to feed this right. Hold on, I gotta. There you go. <laughs> Gotta move the mouse a bit. Yeah, I don't want to fucking accidentally stop recording <laughs> midway like yeah. we always do. Uh, no. Oh yeah, baby. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. So we are we are basically cornering the witness because she lied. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss May. Tisk tisk. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> 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 Quite the show you've put on, Mister Wright. <laughs> He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clock removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Yeah, that makes some sense. I'm not sure that's quite the possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Oh, that's alright. Can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Literally right now. <laughs> oh, oh, impossible, of course. I have proof. You what? <laughs> what? <clears throat> Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed was the fucking phone. It's the phone call. Take a look at this. Mm. That's why they keep cell phone. I don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh. Gay. What is it? <laughs> what are you gonna say? I was gonna say something that my sister say like, "That's pretty girly pop." What? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Nah, I'm too old for that. Oh ho! You have a girly phone? Wait, wait, wait! This isn't my phone. Listen, hey, right? We don't judge. <laughs> hey, hey, man, dude. Honestly, I kind of fuck with it. I'm not gonna lie. This is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order. Order! The defendant so this isn't it wasn't brought to my attention. What the fuck? <laughs> Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? You son of a <laughs> I could have said better member he's up for elevation uh, evaluation soon. There we go. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. That son of a prick! <laughs> God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Let's God hear it. fucking damn it! <laughs> Voice. <laughs> Shut up, Jal and Cal, you Jal. <laughs> Let's hear the conversation. That'd be pretty funny. That every time Edward just gets mad, he just turns to Cartman. <laughs> God fucking damn it! Yumi, right now, Mr. Right, right now. <laughs> so, so you just want me to hold on to the thing? Oh no, wait. Well, this is my right. Yeah, ten percent. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Ah, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork. Sorry. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. M well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, 
The store? What store was that again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. No way that was the same before. That would make sense. I also barely got to mention. <laughs> this is the funnest I've any the objections, Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah. What? You think I'm done? <laughs> what? The witness claims she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Oh, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will, that will prove a witness that has not seen this clock before. Has not seen this clock before? I think it's a wire attack. Um, I think it's the clock again. Hmm. Okay, let's present it. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. What? Oh, that's right! His friend made it! Yeah, he even says they're made by Larry Yeah, <laughs> a friend of mine made that clock. The only two exist in the world. And the, and the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible! Everything is sold in stores! Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> 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 you can't spend too much money on excuses, madam. <laughs> oh, excuses are not for sale today! I don't know what the fuck is this shit, dude. I feel like I'm watching a superhero comic. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Yeah, she's mad now. Oh, God, Jojo. <laughs> What's it to you, porcupine head? <laughs> <laughs> that stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Die! <laughs> Whoa, hi! I'm not into this shit! Fuck this! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'm retired! <laughs> <laughs> There's a cool lord, the witness won't rain come! <laughs> oh? Oh, ho, ho, silly! Oops. <laughs> Did I, um, like, lose it? You know, my mind? I guess I did. Scary. Let me ask. Tell me, how did you know it was a clock? <laughs> Not a clock, or a cock. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? <laughs> okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain I see the truth of the matter. Or how I see it. You know what? It doesn't matter. Miss April, May, Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you held it? Or you've heard it before? You held it. Yeah, you held it. This is familiar ter territory. I'll just use the same approach as with Larry. Miss May held that very clock in her hands. That's right. I want this. When she used it to strike the victim. When else? Okay, now that is right. <laughs> Order. Order. Is that right? What is the meaning of this? April May, you killed my Mia Fey, I say. And when you struck, the force of impact made the thinker ring. That's when you heard it. What? What? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you actually are a work of art, Mr. Wright. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I believe you just proved the thinker was empty. <laughs> oh. Of, of, of course it wouldn't ring. <laughs> What's more, the witness had a rock solid alibi. Ms. No, May? Perhaps she could explain to the poor misguided Mr. Wright <laughs> that you were in the hotel room at the time of the murder. She can't prove it. She did it. It would be my pleasure. No way. Yes way, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> See, did the murder take place at 9 at night? Gee, that's the exact same time I ordered some room service from the Hotel Bellboy. That's very convenient. Yeah. This is down the Bellboy. Corroborates? Yeah. 
Well, what is his test? No, the test. The what is his story? There we go. She couldn't have been at the crime scene. Rock solid. That's my shit. <laughs> Rock solid. Like my god. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you just made a serious accusation against a perfectly innocent woman. Sorry, Your Honor. That didn't go so well. But if that's the case, then how did she know the thinker was was a clock? Wait, Your Honor, I figured it out. There is one other way Miss April could have known it was a clock. One way alone, and I have proof. Oh, proof you say? Then, the court will examine your proof, Mr. Might. How did the witness know the thinker was a clock? The fucking wiretap. Oh, yeah, it's a wiretap. No, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me cook. <laughs> hold on, let me cook. Have a look at this. Oh, ew. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Is there, wait, 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 what is this thing? Miss April May, you were, ta you were tapping the victim. Miss Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, this is irrelevant. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure about that. Objection overruled. It shows me that, the, that our own witness is in position of a wire type. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping, tapping her phone? <laughs> Absolutely. If that's the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my proof. Proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon is a clock is... What? Okay, now I'm actually a little confused. I, you know, I think this is the point where people actually, like, actually were like, No, I got it! I am not one of those people right now. I think it's the phone. It's been a while. I was thinking the phone, yeah. But we already used it. All right, you know what? It's fine. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we seen that. Listen oh, once yeah. more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Uh, we could just skip this since it's going to be repeated again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, <laughs> Miss April May. You used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... Dude, this is an intense fucking case. Holy fuck. Yeah, this is only the second chapter. Dude, this is crazy. Holy <laughs> it gets shit. crazier later. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La, la. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Did you tap that? <laughs> <laughs> Miss May. Hey. Shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer. Yes, buddy. That kind of looks like a man. Uh, yeah. If you were to take off the hair, like it would look some bald she, man. She basically has a JoJo pose right now. Yeah. It's no fair! Oh, you're getting up on me like that! Would it be the first time? <laughs> <laughs> Running a train on her or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah fucking sing your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now to deal with the final blow. Why the wiretap? Okay, yeah. Miss May, why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippy tippity tapping irrelevant? God, she's saying exactly what Edgers, Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Ironic. <laughs> what court does condone the, def the defense's tone of voice? Or does not condone the defense's voice? He has a point. Well, hold on. Do you have an explanation for the court? At the time of the murder, 
I was in my hotel room getting room service. How could I have killed her? If you don't believe me, just ask the bellboy. Well, the defendant doesn't have anything to say. Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy as a witness? That seems like a really interesting idea, I'm not gonna lie. Let's call him in. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sucked quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold the wiretapping, I had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll con consent to calling the witness. <laughs> this is Japan. You ever heard of consent? No. <laughs> con <laughs> condition? If Ms. April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Ms. May April May is was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And there Everybody, you must also accept the verdict of guilty from Ms. Maya May. Faye. That is my condition. What? I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Like said that. I'm, I'm a gamble. Let's gamble it. Let's gamble it. Let, let, let. Alright, I've got nothing to lose. Except for, well, everything. <laughs> Understood. I accept your condition. Are you stupid? <laughs> Fool, you fall right into my trap. Activate magic cylinder! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, wait. Very well. Well, so what the fuck are we doing here? This isn't you, this is fucking Ace Attorney. <laughs> this is a court of law, you dumb fucks. <laughs> Take it outside. <laughs> I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. <laughs> he certainly does look like a bellboy. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. I do look quite rather heavy, so without further ado. Tea set, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Dude, this is a long case. Holy crap. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's have to do with him, and then we got another one to do. Oh my Jesus. But it's like, not like back to back, somewhat. Okay. <laughs> I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel, in business of for four generations. I don't know what kind of accent I'm trying to fucking do. I believe I received a call after 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 on the dot, sir. 9 on the dot. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. I'm just being the right. second I'm ready. I hope. Motherfucker, you interrupted me! <laughs> <laughs> if I can't prove Miss May was involved in the murder now, Maya will be finished. Alright, let's do it. I will have your head on a pike, you piece of shit! <laughs> it's talking to me one more guy at a time! <laughs> I'm the head bellboy at the Fine Water Hotel. Okay, yeah, whatever. I believe I received a call after 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Okay. 8 in the evening? Interesting. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 on the dot. Didn't she say at 9 on the dot she ordered a thing? I don't know. I think she said something about that. Come on. Okay, no. I brought. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Oh, I can move around. Okay. I don't know you can do that. Oh, right. You can go backwards, right. And I delivered the ice coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Okay. Okay, it's just... Okay, it's just this that seems weird. I don't think I have any evidence, but I can press him about it. about it. Okay, okay, I guess we have a little evidence. Oh no, it's this one. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> Nine of the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that de detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine, the time of the murder. I brought her precisely the requested time, of course. 
Okay, so... Oh, yeah, it, yeah, well, if you give it to me, press, it'll, con it'll automatically continue to the next uh, part of the conversation. Well, testimony should say, but whatever. Okay. At precisely the requested time. Oh, I, that was an accident, actually. Precisely nine, then? Precisely? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I know. But... Precisely, exactly, most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? <laughs> He's sweating. Miss May was quite insistent that to be to be brought by then. Oh, bellboy Tihi, I'd, I'd like an iced coffee at exactly nine. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of nine, sir. I wish you'd be so particular about the time. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, and I delivered. I really guess Miss May herself. Okay, those are the only ones that I actually, I guess, had. I see the call from after eight in the evening, and she requested it at exactly nine. Okay, I'm gonna ask about this one. Then. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you get these stupid questions like, "Are you absolutely, sure?" I, absolutely, sir. How could you be so certain? I checked. I checked with May, the person that personally, sir. Not only did she. Did I see her all in her stunning radiance? But I also heard her voice. And then I saw them. <laughs> and I. Um... <laughs> and then Joe's like. <laughs> like dabbing him up. <laughs> the point being, I remember her quite well, sir. Yes, that one. Oh, yeah, then it continues. The next okay. Part. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, but you think you gotta keep asking? I think it's the last one. Uh. Can't still beans or his tea. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, I already asked him about that. I think you gotta ask the final one? I bought it to her for the first time. Yeah, let's try I it. I know, you already done this one. Oh, yeah, I did. No, you're right. My bad. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. I thought it was that one. Oh, okay. It was that one? Okay, hold yeah. on. Let's... I delivered the ice coffee to our guest who's made herself... Oh, fuck! Oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, um, we already have to almost end this, too. <laughs> Fucking god, god damn. damn. Ow. I'll you, continue. You know what? You know what? We'll leave it the next episode. It's fine. <laughs> Bruh. I know. This is really long. This is you a keep really... fucking it up in the end. <laughs> well, that's just part of the game. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just me enjoying the game. No, that's just you being a fucking skill issue. All right. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs>